I've had two cups. I think I need more, Jamie. Yeah, you know, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but it can help on a day like today. I'm all about the espresso shots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bring them on. Yeah, well, you know, sunrise about 10 minutes, a yeah. little over 10 minutes away now. So the countdown is on to our first later sunrise here of the spring season. We have a sunshine here for the first day uh, where we lose this hour of sleep, but we'll have that extra hour of sunlight this evening. So I think a lot of people look forward to this time change, not so much the one in the fall. A uh, 54 for normal today. That's our forecast so right where we should be that record 86 degrees unfortunately nowhere close to that record even as we see warmer weather in the forecast over the next few days i still think we will stay shy of those record highs unless something were to change which it could but right now it's looking like highs max out this week in the low to mid 70s and most of our records are in the 80s for the week ahead so here's that view from space clear clear as can be high pressure just to our south and west we're still seeing those northwesterly winds but as this high slides east we will eventually see that wind shift happen and that sets us up for warmer weather tomorrow a warm front will lift north but for now we have a weak little cold front washing out to our north and east highland illinois a beautiful view of that sunrise there washington avenue camera i really do like this view this time of day especially, and you can just see as far as you can see. It's very uh, good visibility this morning. 33, feeling like tw 28 with that northwest wind at 6. Pressure this hour rising. 27 in Alton, 29 at Scott Air Force Base, DeSoto 24. So DeSoto, you are now the coldest, but you don't have a wind chill. So many people feel like they're cold as cold or colder than DeSoto. 22 is how we feel in St. Charles and in Litchfield, Illinois. So sunshine will help us today. The wind won't be as bad as yesterday, so that will also help us. So today should feel a little bit less cool than yesterday with those highs in the low to mid 50s. Overnight tonight, clear and cold again. Maybe not quite as cold as this morning, but it will be close. But by tomorrow, what's different is we will have that southerly or southwesterly flow, and that brings up in warmer air. It will be a fast warm up, highs touch maybe 70 degrees in many areas, and then by 5 p.m., we'll be on the down, uh, downfall of that. I should probably uh, move this pause point up to about three or four so you can actually see the high. I'll do that next time. So that temperature trend above normal temperatures will be the rule here for the next few days. Quiet through Tuesday, but then Tuesday night into uh, through about Friday morning, we have a few rounds of rain and maybe even some storms with the highest chance of storms and rain being Thursday and Thursday night, especially that will bring a cold front through and then not really below normal temperatures, but normal temperatures to the region as we head into next weekend. And we might see by the end of the weekend, we might see below normal temperatures. So for today, though, 54 degrees looking pretty good tonight down to 34 clear and chilly. Your extended forecast overnight showers on Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday, we might have a little spotty stuff around, but I think most of us get through the daytime hours dry. But then Wednesday night chances increase Thursday and Thursday night, especially Rain is looking likely overnight into early Friday. It looks like we'll see temperatures in the low 60s Friday and Saturday, but we could even have colder air spilling into the region by Sunday. So St. Patrick's Day looks like it could be cool with highs only in the 50s.